All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and it's time for Simplex 4010 Test 22. Wheelock Z Series, because I finally got a hold of a Wheelock ZNS. This one's set at Code 3 Mechanical Horn and 30 Candela. And then over here is a Wheelock ZRS set at 75 Candela strobe only. So I guess we can go down. Down here is the Firelight BG12L. Oh, that's still the same minus the uh, Nunciator. I don't know if you saw, but uh, this decided to kill itself. It only works if you look at it from certain angles, but if you look at it from dead on, it is just black squares. But I got a new one coming. And if you follow my Facebook page, yes, I do have a Facebook page now. You can just go ahead and search Fire Alarms and such on Facebook and the page will pop up. I suggest giving it a like. I post a whole bunch of updates and stuff, new videos, new things that are happening around here. I would highly suggest it. There is a new box down here and a new key on the key ring for over here. So something's going on over here. But if we continue around, we have the Grinnell RMS 1T basic hex lock T-bar. Same fire stopper. Going up is the Wheelock AS set at 75 Candela, code three mechanical horn. Going down here under the stopper is a Simplex 4099-9003 dual action pull station. The horn is on. And same smoke heat and smoke. We will be smoke testing this today, or at least we're going to attempt to smoke test it today because we all know how well that goes. So I think we can start with the Grinnell station. Let's get my hex wrench ready. So here we go. It will go ahead and silence and acknowledge from the non-working enunciator. While we're over here, we will actually key test the key switch because we haven't done this in a while. So, and turn. And we'll acknowledge silence and put a reset in the panel. While the panel's resetting, we will come over here and reset the Grinnell station. So just flip the T-bar back up and then close. So panel is resetting. DSM is clicking away. Strobes continue to flash. Even though these are two wire devices, I'm the biggest mounting plate I think I have ever used. The mounting plates on the Z series are so like they're thick and bulky it's like uncomfortable so well stay stay while we're over here we can go ahead and pull the station in the stopper so let's do this i don't know why it's not really showing up on the camera but it is the dual action station it's like not appearing i don't know why but it is I promise so here we go <laughs> And we'll go ahead and turn the siren on the stopper off because that's just terrible. So then we will go ahead and reset the pull station. We can rearm the stopper and put it back on and we're all good. And then we can reset the system.
Something I should point out now, um, just as a little, ooh, what's coming over there by the desk? Because it's something cool that took a lot of work. Um, if you know what it is, don't comment it because we're going to make it a surprise. But before when I press this button, the door holder drop and the panel go to supervisory. But now if I press the button, something comes on at the panel, but it's not a supervisory anymore. So that's just something with that. So I think we might as well pull the a BG12. Let's do it. Push and pull. And we'll actually then throw a reset into the system as well. Who knows if you actually saw that because that announcer decided to die. But by the next video, there should be a working enunciator there. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move the broken enunciator into the back room there and install it back there. So that way while I'm working, I can acknowledge troubles as I create them as I'm working on wiring. And if you guys want it, if you are good at electronics or you just want a cheaper enunciator, I will actually put it up for sale. Uh, if you want to give me a hundred bucks for that enunciator with the broken LCD, be my guest. So, it is now time to smoke test the detector. So the way that we are going to do this, again, do not try this at home. We got a post-it note here. And we're going to light it on fire and we're going to pray. That works the first time. I practiced about six times before I actually started. Let's actually get the combustible can away from the fire. I practiced like six times doing this, so hopefully it works. And then what we will actually do now is we are going to check on the device and see what it is at. Oops. So it has hit 100% of its alarm, which is 2.5% concentration. If we kind of air it out, we should hopefully start to see that percentage start to drop. There that goes. So let's see. 52% of the alarm and it's only at 0.5% of smoke so it is actually below alarm total right now and you can see it does continue to drop after I had aired it out uh, oh went back up again so I can air it out while trying to keep the camera still ouch I hit it so see, there it goes. Now it's starting to drop. So you can actually see what's really cool is you can actively see how these smoke detectors work and see actually what's in them. So it's only at 0.1% concentration of smoke. I think we can go ahead and throw a reset on the panel, but we can keep watching it. All right, it is at 0% concentration of smoke. The reason it's still percent is because there's more decimal points that's not showing, but that's where the concentration is it's only at one percent of the alarm so we are good i really like that about these simplex panels so you can see exactly what's happening in the smoke detectors so everything is reset so boo that was a successful smoke test i haven't done that in a while so thank you guys for watching and as always have a wonderful day